Gemini, hello. Welcome to your January. Who is coming in for you? We're looking for new love spirit. New love for my Geminis. But you know how that goes. Y'all got somebody lurking around you trying to come back. But I am focused on who may be coming in for you in the month of January. Or at least start messaging you in the month of January. Please like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon and leave comments down below. I love to interact with you guys. All right, guys, and hit subscribe if you like my channel. Awesome, guys, let's do this. Well, what's at the bottom here? We have the Knight of Cups. Definitely somebody wanting to um, ask you out. Somebody clearly has feelings for you. They think you're absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, they're flirty with you. They want to flirt with you. You're there like, look, oh, my God, woohoo! I like this. You're going to feel the same way about them, too absolutely feel the same way about them too. This could be a teacher or somebody that you know from school or somebody who you constantly go to um, to ask questions to if you know this person. But this person finds you absolutely attractive and they just see you. Um, this is a new love, by the way. This is clarification that this is a new love and they wanna ask you on dates. Um, I think they they want to take the next step. They may um, be somebody who you look up to or that you, a mentor of yours in some sense, or somebody that just, um, you may not see at first that this person has feelings for you, but they clearly want to take this to the next level. They may have been hiding it um, and they've been hiding it well, but look, to, look for messages here. And the thing is, is that they just see you. They've been wishing for this. They've been thinking about this for a while. Um, and they're starting to just get impatient and really want to move in and make this work. Their, um, their uh, expectation of this relationship is they want to go long term with you. So they definitely see this long term. But they want to flirt so bad. So this is a... They find you beautiful and attractive, and they want to definitely go on a date with you. So they're very emotionally attracted to you as well, but they're flirty with you. They want to flirt with you, so they're sexually attracted to you. This could be somebody um, who is a little bit younger um, than you, um, or appears a little bit younger, or you thought they were younger than you, but they're not. Okay, this could be one of your friend's um, younger um, brother or, or sister, I'm getting. Let's see this older person and then this little bit younger person. I feel like you've got your eye on somebody and this person's had their eye on you. Or you may be friends with somebody and they have a brother or a sister who's been eyeballing you or a cousin is what I'm getting. All right, but they clearly, they want, like right now anyways, they're in this like flirty, young, youthful, new love type of relationship with you that they are just thinking, I mean, they just think that they want this relationship with you. Um, that's what they're seeing, okay? And when you meet, you both are gonna feel the same exact way, okay? Or if you know, or when you find out who this person is, you will feel exactly the same way, all right? So it looks like you can expect some dates, um, dates coming in. So again, a higher level of commitment, all right? So what obstacles are in the way? What obstacles? We have the five of wands, some competition, and somebody's holding back their feelings because they may see that you have other people interested in you. Somebody's keeping their heart, heart on guard. Um, they haven't been telling you how they feel because you just have so many people around you that find you attractive. You must be really in this... Um, energy of just completely self-love you've got your game going on you're, you're it's like you're well dressed you're well maintenanced and um you know i want to i don't know maybe you're a mother you just had a baby i don't know maybe you're glowing um you're a single mother i something like that or you're you know it doesn't necessarily just because i'm saying mother or female this can go either way this my reads are always gender for either gender okay take it how it resonates but the obstacle that's in the way here, because this person wants to freaking flirt with you bad. They have it for you bad, okay? They may use the um, excuse to, um, you may go to them for information, ask them questions a lot. You may um, ask them for a lot of advice. They may come to you, they may seem as though they're a shoulder for you to cry on in the past or, or they often may be around you to offer advice because they're just trying to be around you. 
they're trying to get to know you. They're trying you to see have you see them, but they're holding back their feelings because I think they think that you have so many people around you that, that want you, but they don't know if they um, can get your attention. But, but when you guys do, when this happens, when this clicks, you guys equally feel the same towards one another. Ace of friggin' Wands wants to come up on every read. The Ace of Wands is um, tells me springtime, and I'm gonna say this again, and I say this in every read so far. I set the intention that I wanted to originally do January, February, March, and because I changed it to January last minute, Ace of Wands keeps wanting to come up. So my guess is that in January, especially around the new moon, if you're single and you're manifesting or wanting a new love to come in, set in intentions on the 14th, I think, or the 15th is the new moon in Capricorn. Then I feel like this you're going to receive these messages. You may start dating this person or they may at least open up to you. Um, or you may start, this reading may give you an idea that who this person is. And things might start to move in motion and start to, to move towards you. Okay, this is the person. But I feel like springtime, the first day of spring, is when everything is just going to ignite. And you guys may take it into the next level. But I feel like the, an initial, the initial stages are happening now. And this person just can't keep their eyes off you. They're super attracted to you. All right? But... Again, they are holding back their feelings because there's competition. There's people around you that they think that may have a better chance with you. So if this is your story, you know what we're talking, what I'm talking about, okay? Look at the Nine of Pentacles. They just see you as per, as beautiful, self-love, doing you, very independent. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn that you're that's watching you, connecting with you. I get strong um, fire um, and water, um, Aries, Leo, Sag, but I get Aquarius. Aquarius stands out too a lot, and Taurus does too. So you have a, a kind of an equal, you've got more fire water um, than you do in air and earth. So just keep that in mind. This is a very fiery, passionate, emotional relationship. And this person has got their eye on you. All right, let's look for some clarifications and some advice. Some clarification and advice. One more shuffle. The innocence of swords. Look at this. Really speaking their truth. Coming out. Um, a new perspective. A new clarity. This could be you right now realizing. Oh. I think I know who that is. And if that's you right now. Then this is the light bulb that just went off. And the person could be a, uh, a cat person. You guys get in a conversation about a cat. You may see a lot of cats around. Because of this message and that may be your signal that you're on the right in the right direction but this person is around you whether you know it or not and they are eyeballing you and you may just now figure it out okay we have the heart of wands i mean the passion and the fire here this person is just like lurking behind the scenes they have so much passion for you and desire for you and it's like they're poking their head out just a little bit to say please pick me look at me look at me turn around and look at me and they're very attractive too they just you don't see it at first so this person is one of those people that you almost they go they slip in and slip out and once you figure these people out and you you see their personality and when their personality shines you start to go wow this freaking person's so attractive how did i not see this before it's because they're always hiding in the background and poking their head out like kind of insecure in a way like please pick me please notice me please see me um but you have so much competition around you and that's why they're holding back in their heart they're holding back because they are so vulnerable the way they feel about you okay and they're foxy they are totally fox. they find you foxy all right the movement of cups okay there is movement coming in something's going to spark here where there's going to be some sort of movement very soon and so i i really feel like if this resonates with some of you you will know who this is and they will, you'll start to feel some sort of wave of the universe kind of drawing you two together and things are going to start making sense and you're going to start getting signs of um, what's going on. You may even see a fox. Who knows? But 
listen for signs and listen and look for this person because this person is fixated on you and they're quick. I feel like they move quick around you. That's why you can't catch them. Um, they're in and out when they're around your presence. I think they, you make them nervous. So they're like quick to come in and keep an eye. They're always keeping an eye on you, but they're quick to come in and leave because their anxiety, the nervousness gets to them and they're just quick as a fox. And so maybe that's why you're not seeing what they're trying to give off. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that guy. Look at another fox. I love these cards. The spirit, the spirit, they have the spirit of a fox. Fox could, or a cat here, could be um, your guides trying to guide you in the right direction. So if you even hear somebody say fox or cat, listen to what's going on in your head or around you or take it as a message. All right, guys, I love you. I hope these messages help. Please comment down below and let me know. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys. Take care.